I just finished my workout with Jesse and Michelle skipped today's workout like he just didn't show up but um oh my god today was like the hardest day ever um gonna be real with you probably mostly due to the fact that I had McDonald's last night which is a mistake um, as you guys know I do have like a cheat day and I'm not super strict like on the weekends but um, <laughs> yesterday, one of the first articles I read was that the creator of the Big Mac died, and I had a Big Mac on my brain all day. I don't even really like Big Macs. Like, I like them, but like, it's not the thing that I get when I go to McDonald's. So last night at like eight, I didn't eat dinner yet. I barely ate all day. I was like, I'm gonna go get a Big Mac. Big mistake, because I had such a hard time doing the workout. Um, I had to take so many more breaks than normal. I'm sweating way more than normal. I didn't sleep as well as I usually do. I felt gross waking up. So that was a mistake. It was a mistake. Honestly, don't, on the weekends if I eat McDonald's, it's pretty, it's usually, it's fine because I don't have to go work out, but today was not fine. Today was not good. It was very much a mistake. So I couldn't wait for it to be over. Anyways, I'm fucking hot now. Um, I, I texted my nail lady, so hopefully there's no misunderstanding this time, but I texted her this morning asking if she had a nail appointment today because, no, because, um, I hate when people are, like, watching me, like, as I'm in my car, <laughs> like, I get that I have a good spot, but, like, if I'm in this parking spot, like, I'm allowed to stay here for as long as I want to stay here. This girl was like, are you leaving? And, like, yeah, I'm leaving, but, like, I'm putting my hair up now and I'm gonna catch my breath so I texted my nail lady because as you guys know I've had many issues with the nail place in the past with them mixing up my appointments and everything like that so last fiasco that happened um, the my nail technician Mary gave me her cell phone number so that when I wanted a nail appointment I could just text her and not go through the whole rigmarole so I texted her this morning asking her if she had an appointment. She had an appointment at 11, which is perfect because it's 10.15 now. I'm looking like a sweaty mess, but I'm going to run into the mall because I have to do an exchange for Mike at American Apparel, return some bras at Victoria's Secret, and I want to run up to Winners to get a Sesh Veet top coat for my nails, and I should be able to do that before 11, so I'm going to go do that now, now that I've kind of caught my breath a little bit, but um, yeah. Don't eat McDonald's the morning before a workout and definitely not well I, I went to bed at like 12 so it's not like I just went to bed I feel like I'm gonna pass out but I have to go return some bras at Victoria's Secret because they're just like way too constricting on my boobs and I have to exchange a sweater for me but I feel like I'm gonna pass the fuck out right now so I just ran in and out of the mall and I got a lot done um, unfortunately winners didn't have such eat um, every other time I go when I don't need such feet, of course they have like an abundance, but th my, the winners in the mall didn't have any such feet, so I guess I'll use whatever top coat they have. Anyways, I'm on my way to my nail appointment. Um, I did get a nail polish because the nail polish, like the dark red nail polish I always wear, um, I got so many questions about and the same thing happened last year. So basically I went to American Apparel last year and they had this like set of three nail polishes it came with the red and the glitters and um it was on sale for like seven dollars and the dark red was like the perfect dark red and i get so many questions about you know what nail polish is but unfortunately not only is american apparel going bankrupt so i don't know if they would even have like a ton of um those nail polishes they're going bankrupt but also um the bottom of the nail polish like didn't have a name so I was at Winners and they had a pretty similar nail polish so we'll see if it's like the same or if it's even if it's even good I don't know so I also went to Bath and Body Works I'll show you what I got when I got home but um I went to Bath and Body Works on Sunday with Tony and Paul and Mike and all the candles were $13.80 and there was like a 20% off coupon so as you can imagine the store was chaotic it was mayhem and um, at first like I was like it's a really good deal like I'm gonna go ahead and, <laughs> and there was a 
20% off coupon. At first I was like, I'm gonna wait in line and like, I'll just wait. But um, I always say that I'd rather pay full price than you know stand in line or anything like that. And I tried to be good and be like, I'm gonna wait in line. But then when I got into line and I saw that the person in front of me had no word of a lie, like a hundred soaps in their bag, I was like, uh, yeah, I'm not gonna do that. And then I was like, okay, well, I'll just do it online, but the shipping is like $10, so I wasn't really saving anything. And the only reason why I would order online is because um, they had this really cute wallflower that looked like a gingerbread house. And um, it reminded me because my mom has been collecting the Bath and Body Works houses. Um, every year they come out with like a little house to put like candles in. So my mom has been collecting those for like, years. And it reminded me of that. Obviously, I'm not gonna have a huge house, but they, I, on Sunday when I went, they were sold out, but they had online. But then when I went today, they I guess they had restocked, so I was happy I picked some of those up. Oh, I was at American Apparel exchanging my sweater, and um, I was at the cash, and I heard my name. One of you guys actually like came and said hi to me, but um, I went to school. Her name was Emily, and I would have hugged her. <laughs> Sorry if you thought I was like, cold or standoffish because I didn't hug you normally I would hug you but when I say like I had just gotten from the like I had just gotten there from the gym I was sweaty I felt like a wreck I felt like I was gonna pass out so I didn't hug her to protect her from my stench not that I smell I don't think but like I was like literally sweating so yeah no such beat in here but um she said hi and it was really nice because I went to high school with her boyfriend and I haven't seen um, Cern in a really long time, but I had known about her because like we were we were all really close in high school. Like I went to a private school, so the the classes were really small, so we got really close. But um, yeah, it was really nice to to finally meet her because I had, I had never met her. But she gave me some cards for Starbucks, which was really nice. But anyways, thisy thisy, <laughs> these are the nail polishes. Um, they're pretty similar if anything this might look a little bit darker but they're pretty similar I really like Sonic's cases and they're really expensive like at chapters they're like 40 over $40 and I'm like not gonna happen like I'm not gonna pay 40 fucking dollars for a phone case sorry I think I did once I did once but like that was like a splurge and I really had to think about it uh, but I'm not gonna spend like a lot of money on a phone case because those things get dirty so fast like even the phone case I have on right now looks really dirty anyways this is the one I got from Sonics I'll take it out because I want to put it on and I I'm at a light right now this is what it looks like I just think it's really cute so yeah that was my oh the whole point of me turning on the camera I'm gonna complain about this because the Victoria's Secret in Fairview Point Claire is literally the worst Victoria's Secret ever they always have one person working and I realized like it's 11 o'clock on a Friday morning like normally like they would have one person working but this happens on weekends like sometimes Mike and I will go to the mall on like a Saturday at 3 o'clock and there will be literally one person working the cash and the line will be literally backed up to to pink like to the beginning of the store and there's still one cashier working but there's 50 people on the floor ready to harass you be like have you checked your bra size it's just so annoying. It's like I hate that. I hate when they don't have people working at the cash. Like I hate waiting in line. Like I can't tell you the amount of times that I've actually put my stuff like down and left because the line was just crazy. I just think like that's so annoying. Like oh, I have a, there's a spot right in front. I just personally find that so annoying. Like fuck, like hire enough people. Like you have enough people to go and fucking work the floor. Like get one of those people to work the cash. It's just got my nails done my hands look really weird I got my nails done the color is called high maintenance by China glaze it is not as dark as um, I'm like shaky because I'm drinking this drink which I'm gonna talk about it's not as dark as the other one by American Apparel but it's a really nice red it's not as a bright red it's like a hooker red it's it's a really nice red so um, I am drinking my Holiday Spice Flat White and I actually met a viewer like I told you guys and she gave me these Starbucks cards and I got a free drink and it was so good. Um, I got a Holiday Spice Flat White and even though you're supposed to get a free Grande drink, I got a, a Mezzo because I like Mezzo sides better for these. I get sick of the, the flavor after a Grande. Um, so thank you very much, Emily, for this. It was definitely a good treat. I gave one to Tony because <laughs> she was busy working. So thank you very much, very much appreciated. And now I'm gonna go home and 
um, clean shower and then I'm going for dinner tonight with my sister and her boyfriend and we're going for an early-ish dinner so we might go shopping after we're going to the keg mama needs a steak she needs a piece of filet mignon Trisha Paytas five-star luxury dinner mukbang she was a little crazy in that video <laughs> but um I need I need a I need a good steak. Anyways, I've been craving red meat. I don't know why. Hey guys, so I just put on a quick face makeup and uh, waved my hair out. It's kind of messy because I haven't adjusted it over the coat. Um, for my outfit, like literally wearing my uniform. Jacket is from Zara. Top is from Zara about a while ago. My leggings are Lululemon and then my shoes. Let me flip it around. My shoes are by Linterval. It's a Montreal shoe company. Probably should not be wearing blue suede shoes, but... It's not really rainy, so wearing these and then my Louis Vuitton bag. So you guys can't really see, but Tony's sitting there by the fire. And there's Paul. We're getting some drinks because it's been a long week. As, oh yeah, it has. It's been a good and week. And my exam starts. And your exam starts. So Tony's gonna get wasted. Wasted. And she's underage. I'm not underage. <laughs> Are you 19? Bloody, you really can't see. Here's some tuna tartare. Tony got an amaretto, amaretto, amaretto sour. I'm like really suffering right now, y'all. I don't know if you guys know this, but my feet are extremely prone to blisters. And <laughs> these shoes are really painful. So I'm like limping around, like trying to walk, but my feet are literally so prone to blisters that it's unbearable right now but um just went to sephora i wanted to see if they had the sunday riley juno they don't so we're going to chapters now because i've been wanting to go i got my biotherm makeup removing balm but i'm like really suffering like, i'm walking like i've never walked before tony imitate how i'm walking so people can get an idea of how i'm I'm walking with my feet. Alicia always walks like this. <laughs> no, I, I oh don't. God. When she was younger, all her shoes were ruined because she'd walk like this. I have flat feet. Oh, Look how cute that goat is. Look at that face. It looks like Tony. Her phone in my her picture in my in my phone is a goat. Ugh, oh, Paul. Tony, I got it's a comment standard. from someone saying that you need to stop the lip injections because you're starting to look weird. And I said, I think she looks beautiful. They went, it's because I just had gotten I know, probably. people are weird. <laughs> yeah, I didn't. I don't want them anymore. Like, I, I love my lips now. Look, y'all, it's my cup. Mama's cup. Original mama. I want to get a small bottle. Oh, look at the palm leaves one. They should, oh, they do have a marble one. You should get one, Tony, for when you go to school. Because oh, unlike me, you to. go to school and you're like super good in school. What is this? And you have a coupon. You can get $5 off to How much is this? I don't know. Check. Baby, look how nice it is. Mike has been begging for one for some reason. People really like Do they all have too. the same pattern? No, there's all different. Check them inside boxes. Some of them come in boxes. Perfect. You don't think Mike? I think Mike would actually like this one. Look how cute these are. They're like mugs. I love that. You can use them after. That smells good. Yeah, the canter. If you really love me. Oh my god. Wait. Did you guys see the thing I tried doing on Facebook? No, baby, I didn't actually. It's a, it's a wine glass you add to the top of your bottle and you. Oh my god. If you guys know me, well, salted caramel toddy. I'm all about. Dragon's Den, and this was on Dragon's Den because it's like way more natural, like not with a ton of salt. But how much do they charge? Really? It's, it's only nine dollars. So that's know? really not. Wait, you throw this in with the alcohol or what? Yeah. Oh. I love the baby section. Do they have a smaller version of it? Yes, they do. It's not bad for that. But I don't know how it would look. Let me take my jacket off, and you can tell me. Okay. I'm a cow. Oh, please. This is my sister, the cow. Look at that cow's tummy. Is it look weird? 
the ends are like really blunt. That's the only thing I could say. Yeah, it's not like that nice, like you know, like tapered thing. Oh my god, this is like for you and Paul. Every time I show this to Paul, he gets so mad. Babe, I'm getting this for our son. Babe, I'm getting this. <laughs> what is it, the hockey one? Because people seem to think that you're living alone. Tony, tell the truth. I wanted to see if I could find Jim's book, but I couldn't. So Tony is. She's looking. I looked, but... Anyways. They have this. Have any of you guys tried living language? Greek? Um, I don't know how much it is. Three books, nine audio CDs, but... I really do want to learn Greek. They have a Greek learning thing. Thing really? to learn Greek. Yeah. Yes, because I have I have spare time to learn Greek. <laughs> yeah. I guess I won't get my gym book. Now I remember why I wore those shoes once and never wore them again. It's because these shoes impaired me from walking and breathing and living and being happy. So now I remember why I wore those shoes once. I just got home, I lit my candle. Um, someone commented on the video where I showed this. They said, don't get a jar of candy, you're gonna be tempted to eat it. I'm gonna tell you, honestly, since I've had these out, I think I've had maybe five, no word of a lie. I don't have a sweet tooth at all, so like, these really don't tempt me that much, thank God. If it was like McDonald's french fries, that would be all gone, but I don't know how good they would be, but yeah, this really doesn't tempt me. So I just lit my candle. This is one of my favorite candles right now, Mahogany Balsam. I have my sparkling water. I need some of that. Um, and I figured I'd show you what I got at Bath and Body Works and then at the other places today. So this is the cute little wallflower I was talking about that looks like a little house. I just think it's so cute. And um, there, this needs to go. I finally got the boxes gone, but I think I'm gonna put it right there so when you walk in, it smells really good. And the scents that I got for that, that didn't sound too good. Um, I got mahogany balsam. Am I saying balsam, right? I got the mahogany balsam wildflower. And then I also got the tis the season um, wildflower. So I don't know which one I'm gonna get. And then the two candles that I got, and I'm so annoyed. The candles today were two for 38 and today they were 10, tomorrow on Saturday, they were gonna be like $10 each. But anyways, spending a little bit more is well worth it for my sanity. So this is Mahogany Balsam, same one as this. And then this candle is Tis the Season and it smells really good. Um, it almost smells just like a little bit more of a Christmassy version of leaves. So that's why I really like it. And the girl today did not give me a coupon, which I thought was weird. Because I spent like 60 something dollars and she didn't give me a coupon. And then from Sephora, I just picked up a new Biotherm Balm to Oil. Uh, this is just my favorite makeup remover. And then the sample that I got was the Sunday Riley Martian Water Gel Toner. They didn't have the Juno Oil, but... I'll probably order that online or Tony is gonna get it for me for Christmas, but this looked good. So I got that. I don't even know what it is. Is it a cleanser? It's a toner. And from Chapters, I just got a Swell water bottle. Finally, I've seen so many people talk about these. I haven't decided if I'm gonna keep it for me, but I really liked the palm leaves, so I got that. And then I got this book because I've wanted to read it for a while. And it's by Lisa Messenger. It is, she's, I don't know. Someone, when we were first launching Coffee and Couture, um, one of my followers on Snapchat sent me a lot of pictures from this book. And um, I don't know, all the stuff that they sent me, I thought sounded really good. So I got this book finally, and that's all I got. And then I figured I would, unbox this because I haven't yet. I haven't unboxed the 24 days of tea. Yesterday I really didn't want a tea. Um, so if you want to see the unboxing of the tea, I'm going to be doing this daily on Snapchat. So be sure to follow me on Snapchat to get some exclusive looks into my day and also celebrate the 24 days of tea with me. So I'm going to go do the first two now.